I like a beer and I like a bet, but not necessarily in that order. It doesn't matter if it's footy, racing or cricket, if the price is wrong, I'll back it. Okay Henry, Cheltenham, how did you get on? Yeah, well it started okay, the first two days were pretty good and obviously uh, last week you know, I was back in a few winners on Tuesday and Wednesday was alright but went pretty much downhill after then. Um, Thursday was a bit. Thursday was a massive disaster actually. Friday, I was sort of hammered in the pub watching the watching the um, racing. And yeah, that, that didn't go well at all. So down or up? It sounds down. Yeah, definitely down. It's a weird one because like whenever you're drinking and you start, you know, betting stupid and like upping your stakes and that, it just never goes right. It's always always lose. Like you never have like a steady bet and you get oh, I got, got away with that one. I never had a beer and you start having like stupid bets. Like. Um, yeah, you always get chin. So yeah, it was down, definitely down at the end of the week. They always say you never see a drunk bookmaker. <laughs> True, yeah. Now we've got one or two things to catch up on. Wednesday, I understand you had a date and it went quite well. Yeah, good. Yeah, well, good date on Wednesday. I went to a place called um, BYOC, which stands for Bring Your Own Cocktail. Lovely. So what you do is you like. Um, and here's a picture of the lovely lady. Oh yeah, this is a picture of us on a date. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what you do is like you go to the supermarket, wherever you get a couple of bottles of spirit. You take it to this place and then you get like your own barman and they just make you cocktails all night, which is quite good. But the only thing is you get like you do get very drunk because there's no like break or queuing up for drinks or anything. You're just sitting there and once you finish one, there's another one there. Yeah. Like really nice cocktails, yeah, it was really good, really good fun actually. Did she enjoy it? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Well, it's the second date penned in, so uh, yeah, it couldn't, it couldn't have gone too bad. I think. And how did you meet her? Uh, I just met her online actually, but um, yeah, I met her on one of those online dating site things. Yeah. Yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures, as they say. Yeah. Oh, what's she called? We should give her a name. I can't say her name because, um, not at this stage, Rob, because, you know, yeah. as a gentleman, never tells Rob. So, yeah. No uh, name, but here's a picture. Yeah, yeah, That's maybe fine. in, maybe in a, a couple of dates' time, if, if we're going well, I'll, I'll reveal a okay. bit more. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. And also, last night you were in a quiz. Yeah, yeah, a friend of mine, um, his partner works for um, Bacardi, obviously the drinks brand, and uh, they had a big quiz in their office in. Um, down by Liverpool Street, so yeah, that was really good fun that actually. They got um, really well. I think Racing Post should consider doing this, but um, they've got like a bar in in their office tower. It's like absolutely fantastic, like big bar, like every spirit, like every brand that Bacardi mate you can get, like fantastic. No Bacardi breezes, but um, there's plenty of other, plenty of other drinks. So yeah, it was really good fun. We didn't win. I think we come like eighth or ninth out of out of the team, so you know, we wasn't last, but um, yeah, not not really close to winning. Okay, and what are the bets you've got pending this weekend? Uh, well, I'm a bit. Bit, um, bit shorter bets really because I haven't really had much time to look at anything because like I said I've been a bit busy but I have had a word with my uh, one of my colleagues James Milton who's known as Secret Bets and uh, anyone that listens to the podcast and stuff will know that he's forever banging in winners and he's told me to back Berry uh, to beat Fleetwood at 2-1 to one, so I'll have a bit of that um, and hopefully that, that'll pay for the, for the weekend's uh, activities.